Hi, I'm Steven Spitz, the pet man for BigApplePetSupply.com. I'm excited to talk to you actually about these brushes. These are the general line of grooming brushes and they're bass. This is bass brush and these brushes are super eco. Why are they super eco? Because almost everything about them is renewable resource. It's 100% bamboo handles. They're really uh, quite attractive looking. Uh, nicest line of brushes, in my opinion, in the dog industry. Uh, the natural bristles, these are boar bristle, bristles. And what's special about boar bristles, because there are synthetics, and while I love synthetics, they don't do what boar bristles do. And that is bring the oils from the base up. So, you know how I always say to use some kind of moisture, like some kind of spritzer? Well, with this type of brush, you're going to brush dry because you're going to want to bring, when you're brushing the dog, first of all, you're going to stimulate the skin really well with these, but you're also going to bring the oils up from the base to the top where, there, of course, there is less oils. So, you should do this on a regular basis, about once a week for your dog, so the oils come up these bristle brushes and will therefore transfer to the area that is drier, which are the tips. So, now that we got that covered, let's talk about exactly what we're doing with these brushes. Uh, we've got two basic types. We've got a firm and we've got a soft. Now, the firm is generally going to be used for medium to long coat and the softer is going to be with a short coat animal. So, these are your generals. These are, everyone should have a brush like this in their house, firm or soft, again, depending on the coat type. And then let's go over some of the other things. You've got this other kind, and people are just, they're not used to palm style, but I actually love the palm style because you could do very large, think of it like horses, right? You could do very large areas with the palm style brush. Now this particular palm style is for shorter hair. You may be able to get away with this for a medium, but again, typically you're gonna find this is gonna be for short hair, okay? Now, the only thing with this, even though you're getting those big surface areas, and it's very ergonomic, very comfortable, works very nicely with, with the way your body works, you're gonna still need a brush like this. And the reason why is there's certain areas underneath, on the legs, at the feet that you're going to want to have the flexibility of having this kind of ability to angle. So again, even if you get this, you're probably going to need this. The last thing that I want to talk about is the pin and the firm bristle brush. This is a combo. This is really, really cool because you've got the pin and then you've got the firm. And generally speaking, you're probably going to start, again, uh, you can moisten this, but if you're going to use this after, I would leave everything dry. So, the la you know, some pin brushes, I want to mention this because a lot of people don't know about this. The pin brush, if you have a pin brush and it's got a little ball at the end, people are like, oh, that's cool, it's not going to hurt my dog if I have a, a little ball at the end of this pin. Well, guess what it's going to do? It's going to pull the hairs out of the dog. You don't want a pin brush that has little balls at the end. You want them straight like this. And again, you want to test out, rub it on your palm. You can even rub it on your arm so that you get an idea of how it's going to feel to the dog with the pressure that you're going to apply. So you could use this, and then you've got the uh, bristle side, the hard bristle side, the firm bristle side for, again, this tool is for long-haired dogs. All of this is available under dog supplies at BigApplePetSupply.com and then you just go under grooming tools. I'm Steven Spitz, the pet man, and I thank you for watching.